The recent threat from al-Qaeda is real. The unprecedented embassy closings across the Middle East and North Africa are indications that we have received credible intelligence that al-Qaeda is seeking to attack. On August 2nd, the State Department announced that it was closing over 20 embassies and consulates across the Middle East and North Africa on Sunday, August 4th, in response to a threat from the al-Qaeda network. Intercepted communications between senior leadership revealed a planned attack against American interests in the region. The attack didn't occur on August 4th, and the State Department issued a second announcement saying that the embassies will remain closed until August 10th. It is believed that the threat is coming from al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, al-Qaeda's affiliate in Yemen. AQAP has attempted to attack the U.S. homeland at least three times since its founding in 2009. It's plausible that the group intentionally leaked communications in order to see a shift in America's security posture in the region. Looking at the map, the diplomatic posts that remain closed all fall within AQAP's external operations range. It is important to remember that there are other American interests in the region that may be the actual target of AQAP's planned attack. If AQAP intentionally leaked this attack, it's possible that it didn't plan to conduct the attacks on August 4th. I've identified August 7th as a possible date that the attacks could occur because of the significance of that date for AQAP and Al-Qaeda in general. August 7th marks the end of Ramadan, which is an Islamic holy month during which we've seen a historical increase in attacks from, from Al-Qaeda groups. August 7th is also the 15-year anniversary of the 1998 East Africa embassy bombings. Those bombings were planned to occur on the anniversary of the first day that American troops stepped foot in Saudi Arabia in 1990. The timing of the attack may be a reflection of changes in the broader Al-Qaeda network. Recent intelligence indicates that Nasr al-Wahishi, the leader of AQAP, was appointed al-Qaeda's second in command. An attack in the Middle East or North Africa region would prove that he's able to coordinate and conduct these attacks against Americans. Ayman al-Zawahiri, the current leader of al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden's successor, also issued a statement last week calling on Muslims to attack Americans in the Middle East and beyond.